Welcome friends to another video. After a very long period of time, it's time for me to talk about smart TVs. And today I'm going to talk about the LG B4. This is the entry-level OLED smart TV from LG's lineup in 2024. And what you see in front of you is the biggest size of them all, 77 inches. Therefore, I'm going to talk about what I consider to be the best image settings of this TV. Therefore, there are two main modes that I use with this smart TV. I use standard and also vivid, depending on the content that I'm watching. Right now, I'm watching uh, standard TV. I'm watching, uh, let's say, some uh, TV shows. So these are the image settings that I'm currently using with this type of content. Let's go ahead, bring up the menu. And as you can see, I use it right now on the standard image setting. But if we go to advanced settings, you're going to see the values that I use in order for me to get what I consider to be the best viewing experience for my liking. As you can see, the brightness is set as it follows. OLED pixel brightness 75, contrast of 55, but you can put it to 50 if you want a more balanced uh, contrast. Black level is at 50, auto dynamic contrast is at low, peak brightness is at low, gamma is at 2.4, and also video range is full and I have activated the motion I care. If you go further to color settings, color depth is set to 50, tint at zero, color gamut, auto detection, fine tuning, and here we have color adjustment at high, and that's pretty much everything that I use here. If we go to white balance, color temperature is set at 10. By default, this TV comes with uh, the color temperature set at uh, cold 50, which is a little too bluish to my liking, therefore I put it to zero, right in the middle. Method, 22 points, signal level, and here you can adjust and play with all the values that you want. If we go to clarity, then here sharpness is at 20, super resolution is enabled on high, noise reduction is on auto, MPEG noise reduction is on auto, smooth gradation on high, Real cinema is off and true motion is off because I actually don't really like this type of image settings. That's why I turn them off. And this is pretty much everything that I did on the standard image mode. You can also enable from here if you want the blue light reduction. But again, this is uh, all depending on your needs. This depends also on what you like to see when you enable this mode the screen will become a bit more yellowish, but uh, I do not use it, therefore it's off on my TV. If we go back to Vivid, let's select Vivid, which is my second used uh, image setting, then these are the settings that I have with this mode. Let's go to the advanced settings. Aspect ratio, advanced settings, brightness is at 75 again for the pixels, contrast at 50, black level at 50, auto dynamic contrast is at medium this time around, gamma is at 2.2, again video range is full and motion eye care is enabled. Going to the color settings, color depth is at 50, fine tuning just the same, color adjustment at high and white balance again color temperature at zero, basically in the middle, not too blue, not too cold, not too yellowish, not too warm. Going back to clarity here, sharpness is again a 20, super resolution is high, noise reduction is high, MPEG noise reduction is high, smooth gradation is high, again real cinema and two motion are off. So just a couple of changes in the settings compared to the standard mode. And uh, this is what actually works for me the best, at least in the past uh, three weeks since I uh, purchased and owned this uh, smart TV from LG. So these are the settings for the regular mode, for the standard picture mode, but you also get support for Dolby Vision, for example. I don't know if you're watching Netflix or if you go to YouTube, for example, and you are watching, uh, let's say, uh, 4K uh, HDR content. So let's go ahead, let's go to YouTube. Find some uh, very interesting uh, videos, for example, this one. And as you can see, the Smart TV has detected that this is HDR content. 
this is how it looks, but we are more interested in the image settings. Therefore, going back to the menu, and as you can see, this time around, it's set to vivid. Let's go to advanced settings. Brightness is set to 50 this time around. Contrast is set to 100. Black level at 50. Auto dynamic contrast to high. Dynamic tone mapping is on. And motion eye care is off. Going to color. Color depth is set to 70. Color gamut is native. Fine tuning. Basically the same setting as the standard mode. And white balance. This time around, it's set to cold 50. So basically the default value of the Smart TV when you take it out of the box. Going back and now going to clarity. Sharpness is at 30. Super resolution is high. Noise reduction is set to medium. MPEG noise reduction is set to medium. Smooth gradation to medium. True motion is set to smooth movement. And these are basically all the settings that I have running on the LG B4 77 inches. Very good experience so far with this Smart TV. I'm very satisfied with uh, my decision to switch from uh, Philips Smart TVs and to finally go to OLED Smart TVs. And if you want something really good, but you don't want to pay the very high price of a uh, LG G4, for example, then this B4 is actually a very good option for you. If you are on a tighter budget or if you are like me, somebody that doesn't really care about too much of uh, the best smart TV that uh, money can buy, but still they need something uh, great for uh, their style of uh, media consumption. Because I usually watch football games and also movies and that's pretty much everything that I do on my smart TV. If you're wondering why my smart TV comes with uh, Ambilight, that's very simple, mainly because I use a Ambilight system from Govi called uh, Govi T3 Lite which I highly encourage you to purchase if you want a really, really beautiful experience and if you want a Ambilight system that really works great. So far, because I was accustomed with uh, Philly Smart TVs for the past uh, six years and also because I was very accustomed to Philips Ambilight system, I decided to purchase the Govi T3 Lite to use together with the LG B4 OLED just to have the most beautiful experience that I could have. This combined with the beautiful OLED panel of this Smart TV and also with the image settings that I've just shown you in this video. So this pretty much does it for this video. These are what I consider, at least for me, for my type of consumption, to be the best image settings for this Smart TV. You can also go further, you can use professional calibration tools, you can also use uh, a professional calibrator to fine tune your uh, screen and so on and so forth. You have a lot of options to fiddle, to play with in the settings and to make this TV to simply show you the content as you wanted it to be in the first place. From where I stand, I'm very satisfied with what I get. They are under no circumstances the best in these settings for this TV, but they might be a starting point for you if you are interested in purchasing this smart TV from LG. Therefore, I'm going to stop here. As always, thank you very much for your time, for your attention. Hope to see you in the next video. Be safe, be good. Peace.